today we will see another phenomena which is total internal reflection this is related to refraction only but how there are two mediums across this interface here is medium 1 here is medium 2 now we have one incident ray a source of light in medium number 2 this source of light sends a ray here and this is denser to rarer if this is angle of i denser to rarer the rule is it will move away from the normal this is normal this is its original path so it will move away when it moves away then it will go like this this is it has moved away now this is another ray this was ray number one and this was ray number one this is ray number 2 and this moves further away. This is ray number 2. This 2. Similarly, now here is ray number 3 which bends more and goes like this. This is ray number 3. Now, this is ray number 4, this 4 and now it bends more, bends so much that it reaches this surface. This, this is ray number 4. Now this angle of refraction, this has increased, increased, increased. This is angle of I, this is increasing 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 but we know that r is angle r is always greater than angle i because the rays of light are traveling from denser to rarer if it goes from denser to rarer it has to move away from the normal so denser to rarer angle r will always be larger than angle i. So, some value for some value of i, this angle r will reach this value 90 degree. This is not 90 degree because i is always smaller than angle i is always smaller than angle r. So, First R reaches I for R reaches 90 degree for this particular value of I. Now we are talking about this situation. If I increase this particular angle of incidence little more, what will happen? The answer is if I increase this more, if I increases a bit more uh, like this then it bends more and when it bends more we see it comes in the same medium this so this is number five and this is number five now we discuss two situations number four and number five number four is the critical condition of refraction so this particular angle made by ray number 4 for which angle of refraction is 90 degree and the ray is going along the surface. It is grazing along the surface. This particular angle of incidence is known as critical angle. Critical angle for this medium. So this angle here this angle is angle c critical angle because for this angle the angle of refraction is 90 why it is critical 
it is critical because all the rays which are within this angle will go to the second medium 1 2 3 1 2 3 but all the rays which are more than this angle are going coming back to the same medium this so this phenomena when a ray of light comes back to the same medium is known as reflection when a light goes to the different medium cross it goes to the different medium bending this is refraction but if it comes to the same medium it is called reflection so all these rays all these rays are having a refraction but for all these rays here these are coming in this direction and these is reflection. So this is a very important angle that is why its name has been given critical angle. Below this refraction in the second medium after this reflection in the same medium. So this is critical angle. For this critical angle we can find out relation of this critical angle with refractive index. How? Here refractive index of medium number 1 rarer with reference to medium number 2 because the incident ray is in medium number 2 and refraction is done by medium number 1. So this is mu 1 2 is equal to sin i sin i what is value of i we have assigned it a new value c divided by sin r here sin 90 so sin 90 is equal to 1 so this is equal to sin c now mu 1 2 is equal to sin c therefore mu 2 1 mu of medium number 2 with respect to 1 will be inverted of this so this will be 1 upon sin c what is this mu 2 1 this is refractive index of medium number 2 with reference to medium number 1 medium number 2 is a denser medium so this rarer medium is generally air so this is important for us whether it is glass whether it is water or whether it is any other transparent medium so what we want we want relation with refractive index of this medium that is why mu has been taken for medium number 2 so medium number 2 refractive index is related to critical angle like this now if somebody asks you what is the critical angle for glass how we will write it for glass refractive index is 1.5 this is 1 upon sin c 1 upon 5 1.5 is 3 by 2 so sin c is equal to 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 is known as 0.67 now from the chart we will see what is 0.67 sin what is the value of c it comes to be around 44 degree so if this angle is more than uh, 44 degree or so then what will happen the light will get reflected back in the same medium and the phenomena of internal reflection will take place and before that this will go out of it so this is a critical angle now proceed further what is happening to this ray this comes back here when it comes back here what rule does it follow sin i upon sin r is equal to constant or angle i is equal to angle r now we say this is a phenomena of reflection so it will follow the rules of reflection the rules of reflection means if this is angle of incidence i then this is angle of reflection r these two angles will be equal i is equal to r 
this is for reflection so what we find see strange thing here this one two three four after that we increase by one degree this does not increase by one degree now it follows this rule and after this we find this and here no we find it here now if i increase it further this way then this angle equal to this angle i will find it here 6 6 this is 7 this is 7 this way now from 5 starting and 6 7 8 9 10 and finally straight this way so first the rays will come in this direction and from here it will jump here and from here it will go in this direction this is how it will go what about this no rays in this no rays in this so no no only in this all the plates will be there this is what happens during total internal reflection now this phenomena is total internal reflection how can we define total internal reflection when light enters from denser medium to rarer medium again when light travels from denser medium to rarer medium and its angle of incidence is larger than a critical value then it will return back in the same denser medium this phenomena is known as total internal reflection i will write it for you okay see when light travels from denser to rarer medium and its angle of incidence is larger than a critical value it will reflect back in the same medium critical value then it will reflect back in the same medium this phenomena is called total internal reflection now in this definition there are two compulsory things which can be taken as condition for total internal reflection the condition number 1 is that the light should travel from denser to rarer it will never happen that light coming from rarer medium striking a denser medium interface will be reflected it will not happen so the light should always travel from denser medium condition number 1 condition number 2 the angle of incidence should be larger than the critical angle when these two conditions are met then it will return in the same medium following the rules of reflection so this is internal reflection because there is no mirror here without mirror it is reflecting back so that is why it is internal reflection internal means it is coming in the same medium without mirror so it is internal reflection total word is added to this because when it strikes a mirror it loses certain energy some energy is absorbed in the mirror here there is no mirror so that absorption of energy is no more there that means the total energy is reflected back and if the total energy is reflected back we use the word total so the total thing becomes total internal reflection the total stands for energy total energy is reflected back therefore it can be reflect again and again without losing energy and this reflection has got more intensity of light than reflection by the mirror because mirror will absorb something and rest it will reflect but in this type of reflection there is no absorption and 100% energy is reflected so we get a very true picture you will always find a difference in the reflection by a mirror and a reflection by the device which is doing total internal reflection right now who is doing total internal reflection and 
what are its application that we will see in the next lecture thank you